Blanga is only like an entry port in Singapore. If you mention Tolok Blanga, the only thing that people could visualize is Vivo City. But do you know that there is an ancient port here once upon a time? And there is an artifact that is as old as 20 years? Singapore sometime in the year 1812. He came here with uh, the Chinese Gambia planters and also the Bugis traders. So that's where he came. So because of this uh, development, he actually cast a spell to Raffles in a way uh, to choose Singapore. Uh, so when Raffles came, that's where he met with Tamugat Rahman in Singapore River and initially Raffles thought he was the Sultan of Singapore but he was just a Tamungo. So you know that's where uh, Tamungat Rahman he sent envoys to look for Sultan Hussein and signed the treaty on the 6th of February 1890. If you look at this place, um, Masjid Tamungong Dying Ibrahim. Now, what's so special? Okay, because Tamugun Tamu uh, Dying Ibrahim was actually established by his father, actually, which is Tamugun Abdul Rahman. Okay, when Tamugun Abdul Rahman came to Singapore, he was here in 1812 or even before that, and he had an office in Singapore River, which is today the art house. So, when he set up his office there, uh, sometime around 1812, that's where he received the arrival of. Uh, Raffles in 1819 and that's the place where he also signed the treaty together with Sultan Hussein. When Raffles wanted to have uh, the, the place where Tamuk Abdul Rahman lived, which is the village just on the northern side of Singapore River, Tamuk Abdul Rahman was asked to shift to Tolok Blanga. That was sometime in 1823 and that's where he set up uh, an audience hall in Tolok Blanga, which we are today. So the audience hall was was officially set up by him sometime in the year 1823-1824 and that became an, became an audience hall for the community. It's just like a community centre of today where people will come and visit him and ask for help, complain to him, anything to do with business, Tunggu Rahman would manage it. But then uh, sadly to say he passed away in uh, 1825 and was taken over by his son which is Tamangong Daeng Ibrahim. Where 
said the name Tamung Abdul, uh, Tamung Hong Tan Ibrahim came about. So when Tamung Abdul, uh, Tamung Hong Dain Ibrahim took over uh, the office in Teluk Blanga, he wasn't really serious at first. But after a while, after some cajole from the Riau uh, Bugis people, uh, supported uh, support and encouragement from the British, he became very wealthy. He became very wealthy, he turned around the tide and he also uh, fought piracy. He, to, he actually uh, fought piracy and reduced piracy in Singapore waters and, and Singapore just grew. So there, there are many contributions by Tamahodan Ibrahim that was not really uh, mentioned. Uh, not really, it was mentioned in academics but it was not really uh, shared out there. So now this, this the Balairung eventually became um, a mosque later, uh, later on. Okay. So that's when that's where Tamgung Da Ibrahim he when he was here he actually built uh, an istana. He built an istana on the right side of this mosque and that istana was called Istan Lama. Govern uh, this area. Uh, that's where he also meet all the envoys from overseas, and he was there actively sometime from the year 1833 until 1860s, where his son Maharaja Angwaka eventually took over. So this was this is a very historic place. It eventually became a mosque, and uh, in those early years when it was a mosque, I wasn't really exposed to this. Teluk Blanga yet, you know, because I was still schooling, but I did see a very old structure just across Singapore Expo. Okay, Singapore Expo before uh, was at World Trade Center, today is Vivo City. So it was Singapore Expo. So when I, when I, when I went there for uh, a trade fair, I saw uh, an old structure and I realized it was a mosque. So that was where I first came to this mosque and prayed. When I prayed, I took a photograph, uh, which, which is here, I'm showing you. And I, I see that this mosque has a certain feel, a, a certain attachment. And eventually when I was doing my when I was tracing my Bugis roots, I realized that this mosque has some connection with the Bugis because the name uh, of this mosque is Temenggong Daeng Ibrahim. So the word Daeng is a prefix to a uh, notable Bugis uh, a, a man or a Bugis prince. So to as, as I as I grew along uh, rediscovering my roots now I became a volunteer in this mosque and here and I was blessed to meet many uh, wonderful people here and one of them is Mr. Rizwan which uh, he'll probably share with you more about the history of this mosque uh, Assalamualaikum Sarafian My name is uh, Haji Khair Rizan bin Haji Khair I get to know Majid Tamanggung since 1984 when I was stationed at the World Trade Center nearby what attracts me to come to the mosque is firstly the design of the building itself is different from the mosque that we have in Singapore and I got to know the people there especially the Imam and the Bilal there the first Imam was that I got to know was Imam Labita a Bugis very nice soft spoken man and, yeah, and Pak Bilal Hussein also a Johorian pure Johorian there and it was they who welcomed me to, to the mosque first as a congregant Slowly, when I get to know them, I became acquainted to the place and, and like the place we, uh, without volunteering my services, I help them. I help them until the year 2006 and then the secretary of the mosque, Mr. Haji Hassan Salihin, personally invited me to be the mosque uh, as a volunteer. I agreed happily because all along I've been volunteering them with uh, all sorts of events like the Maulid Rasul, Hari Raya Haji, Kurban, and many more, many more. What I like the place is that it is very, by itself, very convenient, not only convenient, very quiet, and the surrounding is, is something different. What I got to know later on is there is a mausoleum or makam. Before that, it wasn't known as Makam de Raja. <clears throat> there was no signboard to tell that, that that was where the two Temenggung of Singapore uh, left to rest there. Nah, and Majid Temenggung last time wasn't called Majid Temenggung as it is now. It was known as Majid 
Tak ada masjid jamin Johor Teruk Belanga It's a very old building built during the Raffles time around 18 something But before, uh, before it was turned into a mosque it is actually it was actually a, an audience hall audience hall for the Temenggung to meet his uh, people the Saudaga or the traders there to settle any differences or to discuss any trade issues the Temenggung itself has a is is done a big uh, house located just across the, the audience hall itself. Uh, what is left of the Istana Lama, they call it, is now the gate post. The only gate post left is then in the uh, undergrowth there at Tamangu Road nearby. Okay, back to my volunteer here. 1984, I saw many Imams, Imam Labita, then followed by Imam Ahmad. During that, that time, I also met the late Sultan Iskandar who used to visit the mausoleum uh, to pay respect there usually a few days before Hari Raya Hari Raya Haji or Hari Raya Pasar I got to know him personally too during the years that he come to visit uh, very nice man though he looked very still but he's a very nice uh, Sultan he very care for the surrounding too Masjid Temenggung is a very important part of history. History is most important to the Johors, the Johorian side, so that they know where their origin come from, who their, their, their founder was, uh, Temenggung Daik Ibrahim. We must also learn the, the earlier history of Johor. What we have learned during the Sangam Utama era, we do not know what's in between. This is where Johorian come from. The history of Johor come. And I very much appreciate if people come, visit the mosque, and appreciate the surrounding, and understand the history for more than generation to remember. We've come to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed the stories shared and do share this information with your friends and let us know how vibrant it was before in Tolok Blanga. So join me next time and I will share with you more untold stories, surprises which will thrill you on the history of Singapore. See you next time.